So now let's learn how to work with a list of objects. I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new project and we'll just call it list students and I'll click OK and remember it's just like an array list but with the list data structure you specify the data type. Let's create a brand new class. Right mouse click on that project add class we'll call it student and I'll come over here and add a public string name and a public double GPA and a public string get data which will simply just do a return of the student name concatenated with has a GPA of and concatenated with this dot GPA and then this method when you call it will return a string which is that string and there's two instance variables associated with the class everything's public that's fine let's come back over to the program and now I want to create a list of objects so I type in the word list less than and this is where you put the data type we're not making ints we're not making strings we're making student objects so you just specify the class name and then I'll call it st lst students equals new list once again you specify the data type and then you put a constructor this will now go create a variable called lst students which will be a list of type student objects now all I have to do is simply use my list dot add and create a brand new student object in it and you do that by calling the constructor list students go access the first element change the name to be Donald now this is different compared to the array list because the array list is not type safe you didn't specify the data type the list you do specify the data type if this was an array list you would have to do this uh, al students bracket zero and then you'd have to come out here and say there's going to be a student object student object in that and then would have to enclose the whole thing in parentheses and then would be able to access attributes associated with it so as you can see we really like this list data structure it's a lot more efficient and uh, more structured because we are specifying the data type I could create another object I'm just going to copy and paste and we'll say an object one let's go put Mickey and we could even come back up to here list students bracket zero dot GPA equals 3.5 and we'll do the same thing here list students bracket one go to the next element GPA equals 4.0 because Mickey for some reason always did better than Donald and then we could use our for each and now you have to specify the data type associated with the list you're going to work with for each student we'll call it OSTUD in the list of students let's do something with them let's print off ostude dot get data method so this says go to the list of student objects grab the first one which is a student object put it into that variable and let's go call that variables get data method which should print off the name in the GPA I'll go ahead and add a console read line to pause the screen and let's see if that actually works we should have created a list of student objects add a student object access the attributes add a student object access the attributes print them all off and when we run that we should see the data that we've just loaded Donald has a GPA of 3.5 Mickey has a GPA of 4 so as you can tell working with a list versus array list same thing it's just you specify the data type for list and that allows us a little more flexibility in our source code because we don't have to go and cast 
whatever is in each position.